rallied in the rotunda and they filled the Senate chambers, upset about even the possibility of legislation that would make Michigan a right to work state. Right to work, you've got lower wages, less time off, less benefits, less retirement. Right to work is wrong for working families. I think it's the people responding as fast as they can uh, in response to, well, what this legislature's trying to do. They're trying to slip something in in this lame duck session and people aren't putting up with it. Well, it never came up, even in committee today. Yesterday, the governor said it was on the agenda. And tonight, a spokesman for the Republican House Speaker says... There are serious discussions occurring uh, with the Speaker of the House, the Senate Majority Leader, and the governor about whether uh, having freedom to work legislation is the right thing for Michigan and if this is the right time to do it. The question for those opposed and even Democratic lawmakers is, when will they see it? This would be the most divisive thing this legislature could tackle. And for what reason? Just to give the business community another victory. But it comes at the cost of workers across the state of Michigan. I think it's a joke. I think it's pixie dust and a fairy tale. The momentum seems to be on the side of the folks that want to make this happen. So the people from all over the state are here to demonstrate that it's bad public policy and we shouldn't be doing it in this lame duck session. <laughs> No one on either side was surprised to see the demonstration today. Those opposed to right to work are clearly passionate about not wanting this to happen. The governor, with one sentence, I will veto right to work, can bring Michigan back together, can get to focus on jobs and revenue, and a better Michigan for everybody. There is no word on when or even if legislation will be introduced, but one thing is for sure, there is a strong opposition to it. The crowd tomorrow is expected to be even bigger. In Lansing at the Capitol, I'm Cheryl Choden, 7 Action News.